Revely, revely, riding Sean. Time to make a nice hearty breakfast. I do like making omelets for going to work because they aren't too messy. And got a little bit of a secret ingredient here that I really like using. I think it makes it better. So we'll be using ourselves some onions, some bell peppers, some green onion, and we will also be using some red potatoes. So let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Starting the show here, we do have our red potatoes and sweet onion chopped up. We also have our green pepper somewhat diced and somewhat sliced. We adding it two different parts in the meal. Also have our green onion chopped up here. Starting the cooking, I'll be putting the red potatoes in the skillet. It is already warmed up with the avocado oil. So we're getting that a going. Gonna create a nice hearty meal for two folks. So it will be two different meals slightly, different preferences in cooking times for different parts. So that's why they will be different. Everyone has different taste, so I do accommodate that from my taste to someone else's taste. You're going to get these nice cooked. They do take a while to cook. I'm making this a little bit faster than what it is in person. My stove is broke, so it goes from simmer sometimes to high heat, back to simmer. I'm cooking this on a low medium. So it is in the medium range, but it's still on the lower end of that range. But I do have to keep an eye on it so it just doesn't go straight up to high heat and start burning things. Adding in some of the onions. Just a little bit of the onions. And some bacon bits. Love bacon, absolutely love bacon. Bacon is its own food group and can be its own meal any time of the day, any day of the week. Adding in some of the bell peppers, getting all that cooking and all. I do enjoy these hearty meals. It's nice taking these to the job site. I used to be one of those guys that just took prepackaged food or I'd take protein shakes and just a banana and something that's store-bought, but also do like cooking hearty meals. Sometimes, if I feel like it on a Sunday, I will cook however many days in a row I'll be working. If I'm working five, six, seven days in a row, I will cook all those days worth of omelets, different types of omelets, and have that all put together so that I just heat up in the microwave and I'm gone that morning. I don't have to worry about cooking. It's all pre-cooked. They don't go bad. And also I do make different types so that it is a variation. It's not the same thing every day. This is the next plate. Adding in less of the bell peppers, more of the onions. Again, different taste. And different cook times. So if you enjoy more onions, but you like them cooked more, you add them in sooner. Of course, bacon. Bacon is a must cannot survive without bacon. And it's looking pretty good. I don't add hardly any to if any at all seasonings while I'm cooking. I found that it just doesn't do too much. I add it more towards the end. So it gives it a little bit extra seasoning for this application. Other times it's different. So somewhat garnishing with the green onions. I really like the, the flavor it gives. Stir it up a little bit in there, it tastes great. So this is the omelet mix, which is just eggs. I didn't add anything else. Sometimes I'll add milk, or if I have some extra half and half creamers, I'll open those up, toss them in there, or just regular creamer from the fridge. But you'll notice that this is very frothy looking. Now that is actually the baking soda. I added just a little bit. Not much has to be added all, all or it'll taste awful. I know because I've done that. I've, I like experimenting with this kind of stuff. And I've added a bunch of baking soda and the thing was full of bubbles, but it tasted disgusting. So this is not even teaspoon. This is fractions of a teaspoon. Ever so slight, this is about three eggs. So 
it does not need much baking soda. If you add too much, it will be grainy and it will taste nasty. But I like the effect it has with just adding a little bit. It makes it nice and fluffy. I've tried milk, water to make it fluffy. I haven't found anything that seems to work quite as well as baking soda, at least the way I do it. If it's done differently, it might, I don't know. I've just found that this way, the way I cook them, it makes it nice and fluffy, it makes it taste great. So different omelets, I'll add different things, just give it variation. And it looks really nice right there. Nice and tasty looking. And that is just Jack and cheddar cheese grated up in there. Nothing too fancy this time. Sometimes I'll add smoked cheese, I'll smoke my own cheese, and then put it in there and it gives a really nice smoky flavor, especially with the oils that come out when you're heating it up. And that oil, once it's been smoked with the cheese, amazing. Of course, more cheese on top, can't have too much cheese. And yes, I do wash my hands before I do this. I don't just start rubbing my fingers in the food if they haven't been washed. Of course, garnishing it with some more green onions. I like making it look nice. Been to different restaurants and I like how it's presented well. So if I can't, I do try and make it look presentable. Tossing in some sourdough bread. I really like the way sourdough bread tastes. So we're going to add in there, get some of the oil from the pan that's left over. It makes it a little extra crispy. Flipping them over slightly. Just get that little bit of crispness on there. Doesn't need to be super crisp. So it's nice and done. I originally just slapped them right on top, but it, it didn't look so impressive like that. It just looks like a cook at a restaurant just threw everything on a plate. So later I will be putting them on separate plate because it looks better. Adding the other omelet. Again, very frothy, minimal amount of baking soda. For portions, I've heard it described, and I've even done this to where you take the back of the spoon, the back of the handle part of the spoon, and you just get a little bit. It's not even using the actual spoon part. That's how little you use if you're going to be doing this. So if that gives you an idea, if that makes sense, uh, it might help if you look at the back of the spoon and just how much that little lip on the back might hold, just ever so slight. That's how much gets tossed in there. Another tasty looking omelet. Looks all good. A little bit sideways on there. Gonna straighten that out a little bit. Now for the sliced bell peppers. I'm gonna be adding these on top just to make it look a little bit better, a little bit fancier. It's not gonna affect the taste too much. It will a little bit. I do like it when it's just I guess sautéed, if you want to phrase it that way, and then we put on top of the omelet. Or if you just put it to the side, different things. I've seen them put in omelets on top. Again, variations. It's nice to change it up so it's not the same thing every single day. Also, I do like experimenting with different tastes, different flavors. It's fun doing that. Also gives a little bit of life to job site. If any of you are going to be doing this, for work. I'm used to doing stuff the night before, but I'm also used to doing things the day of. But also if you burn something and you're needing to get to work, it's better if you do it the night before. That way you have more time to do it or you have another chance in the morning. But if some of y'all like some of the, have some of the job sites like what I've had, that you don't have time to cook at all between getting just a couple hours of sleep, getting up and going, and you have a day off that you mostly sleep, because that's what I'd do if I had a day off after six days of 14 plus hour shifts. Do all this on the weekend. And I've never quite frozen any of this, I don't recall, but just portion it all out, put it in the fridge, and you can kind of microwave it or heat it up on a skillet the morning of while you're getting ready. And then be all set to go. Sometimes I will do stuff like this over a fire, so I do like doing this over an open flame. But again, if you're getting ready for work, there's no time for that. I do that more for just personal enjoyment, because it does take more time getting stuff outside, getting all lined up, 
making sure critters don't get to it, as well as bugs. Don't need the varmints getting to the food. Again, getting the bread ready to go. Getting that nice little browning on there. It's nice and crisp. Again, it don't look too presentable being on top, just slapped on top of it. Looks kind of hokey. So we're going to set that to the side. Just a nice hearty breakfast. And it does help having that before work. Instead of just the kind of store-bought stuff or protein shake. It, protein shakes have protein, but it's not the same as having good hearty food, in my opinion. Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes I still do stuff like that to where it's like, there's no time or just don't have the energy to cook stuff like this and resort to the shake, regular stuff. But if you all enjoyed this, let me know. If you want to see more stuff like this, be happy to do more videos. I'm already doing this anyways. So go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and share it to your buddies. See if they enjoy it. I'm curious to see what you all think. Let me know in the comments. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos like this, along with other welding videos, professional bowling videos, and other fun stuff, Go ahead and hit that notification bell. Then you'll be notified of all the videos coming up in the future. And you'll be able to see a good variation of topics. We're doing a lot of video requests. So if you want more videos of different things, go let me know in the comments. I'm trying to do my best in recording more videos and interacting with y'all. Because I really enjoy hearing what y'all have to say. What y'all want to hear about, learn about, what y'all want to see. And I'm looking forward to making all those videos. So I'll be seeing y'all in those videos. Stay safe on the job site. Y'all have a good one. Be seeing you in the next one.